Guys, I, I really don't want to show you this, but I told you I would. But this video, I mean, this is horrible, y'all. This is the commercial that aired on national TV for this show we did. This was two and a half days of filming. This was a big deal to us. Like, I put a lot of effort into this thing. I mean, I shaved my beard. I dyed it. I mean, I showed up to the freaking production thing looking like freaking that cat whisperer cousin Vinny. But as much as I don't want to show you this, I gave you my word and I'm going to do it. And oh my God, that shirt. I showed up looking like one of them Dukes of Hazard boys had a baby with a chimpanzee. Don't look at me like that, I'm serious. I mean, I don't like to speculate, but I don't know a lot about my, my infancy. I don't know, mom, is there something you wanna tell me? All right, enough about my family issues. All right, guys, without further ado, here is the commercial for the show we did for Do It Yourself Network. Welcome to Texas where everything is bigger, especially the auctions. Hey, number 85, number 9,000, number 9,500. Yeah. These pros, they don't buy homes. They buy what's inside, and they buy in bulk, a building full at a time. When you walk into these auctions, you never know what you're going to find. Whether it's in a barn, shed, garage, house, if the contents aren't nailed down, nice. They're fair game. Resale value, three to four hundred dollars a piece. The competition is stiff, and our buyers will need to take big risks and sort through mountains of junk if they want to hit pay dirt and strike it rich. And that's where the gamble comes in. High five, baby. Woo! This is Texas Household Gold. Sold. All right, guys, so we have a few minutes to waste before Gina's eye exams. Well, let's pop back in on family thrift. Hey, it's the one we don't want to tell them where it is. Yeah, the one we don't, we're not going to tell you where it is. We have over 60 listings on Macari. We're trying to get up to 500 listings. Hey, let's go in and see what we can find and how many more Macari items we can find for these. All right, guys, you'll have to wait to see what we got, but it's so big, I gotta carry it on my shoulders. We got a bunch of clubs. All right, guys, this Macari thing is getting freaking out of control. Show me the basket. Y'all, look at this. <laughs> what is it, $1.75 today? $1.75, y'all. Look, we have literally filled up this car. So Gina's heading up there to start taking off the hangar. I'm gonna finish the ladies' department. We just left Salvation Army again because we wanted to fill up our Macari store this week with 200 ads? Listings. Listings, whatever. Whatever you want to call them. Tomato, tomato. Check this out. So we probably got like a over 100 t-shirts in here maybe. Heck, I don't know. But check it out. Uh, we will unbox these back at the house. But so we have a goal, guys. We want to, hey, we said if we're going to do the Macari thing, that we're going to do it right. We want a full store. We don't just want 10 or 15 listings. So our goal by the end of next week is to have up 200 listings and to keep 200 list listings up uh, consistently so every week we'll just make sure that we have fresh listings up and what we'll do is, is we'll just drop the prices on the other stuff um, or we'll do something with it but check it out y'all that is big huge bags of like not just t-shirts guys we went tank tops we went we found some vintage Tommy we found some vintage polo concert t-shirts fun t-shirts ladies sportswear jackets we went ahead and got jackets because jackets were super like cheap but like just like cool jackets like stuff that you don't find every freaking day of the week 
But that's wild to think about. Just a week ago, we were just like, hey, we're gonna try a Macari. We're gonna give it a shot. I'm not a huge fan of eBay. And I really like the clothes thing. The clothes thing is like fun. It's therapeutic for me to go through all of those shirts because it just keeps my mind busy all day. But hey, we're gonna add jeans. We're gonna add like belts. Uh, we are just gonna try to, look, it ain't the best store yet, but we plan on making it one of the coolest, most wide variety Macari clothing stores around. Yeah, so remember the goal is by the end of this video to get 200 listings on our Macari store. Storage units won't be back up. There's probably going to be a two to three week delay. And so we are, we stopped using eBay a long time ago. We don't really use Craigslist anymore. We've only been relying on Hybid. So anyway, last week we popped up a Macari uh, account. And sure enough, we sold over like 400 bucks worth of stuff like that. Like you gotta wait for the payment and all that other stuff, but I do like the extra security with Macari. So anyway, look, this is everything we found. Look at all of this, y'all. This is freaking nuts. Okay, so I said, I told you, I was like, I want a Macari store. I want at least two, 200 items up. So look, we went and made it happen over the last two days. We have gone out and literally hit every thrift store that's open and literally went through every rack. So what I'd like to do is let's go through some of those right now, real quick, real fast. I'll tell you the size, how much I paid. What I like about a lot of the thrift stores locally is they've gone to a just a all one price thing, which I get it, right? Labor costs. It's gotta be take forever to, to label every piece that comes through there, price every piece that comes through there. So this is, it says a beer assistant, okay? <laughs> Uh, it's Gas Monkey Grill. These are brand new. They still have the retail tags on. Look these up. These sell for $21 online. And we got these for two bucks, y'all. But here's the deal. There was like there was like 10 or 11 of them. I grabbed like five and I was like, ah, I don't know. It's going to be one of those things I kick myself in the bucks. But for, because I mean, even if I sell these for 10 bucks a piece, y'all, I pay two bucks. Shipping, uh, They the customer buys shipping. What we're trying to do is basically on our Macari stores, like we want basically everything is going to be like, this is the $10 t-shirt place. This is where you can come find your $10 t-shirt. Now, mind you, some things will be more than $10, but probably about 80% of the product is going to be... $10. $10. Next, we have Adele. Adele was actually playing in the freaking uh, thrift store. I was sitting there singing hello to the other side on my own and I turned this I was like well what's up Adele <laughs> so hey check it out Adele 2016 there it is check it out we got another gas monkey grill two dollars one of the things I want to add in is not just t-shirts but like Abercrombie Tommy stuff from the 90s that was real hot that's coming back so anyway I grabbed this that's none of the ones I just named yeah that's right uh, check it out uh, this is a nice Hollister tank top it's summer I figure somebody will want that for 10 bucks all right, up next we have, um, we paid two bucks for this. I am Wonder Woman t-shirt. Was born in April. I actually was born in April, but I'm not a Wonder Woman. All right, so this is uh, embroidered LSU Tigers. I figured, you know, that's a big size. Some sports guy's going to want that. All right, this is a Smith & Wesson t-shirt. Man. Uh, Smith & Wesson t-shirt. It was a buck ninety nine. Hey, you can't go wrong with bullets on a t-shirt. Check it out. Look, here's more of these. These were just all brand new. So hey, there's more. I think we got 10 total. All right, guys, up next, Gina was in I line. Love this. <laughs> hey, it's Disney, it's Ariel. It looks brand new. Usually this kind of stuff, if it's worn, you'll get stains and it'll tear. But so hey, two bucks for a, a Ariel freaking tank top? So one of the things I was trying to do, guys, is uh, I was forcing myself to go into the women's department. Because we don't just want t-shirts, we want everything. We're going to start hitting up jeans and stuff too. On the 50 cent day, I'm going to go up and hit up jeans. So we'll add that to the Macari store too. But anyway, this was a New England Patriots ladies uh, official NFL tank top. But for two bucks, I was like, heck yeah, I'll get that. Somebody, some lady will want that for ten bucks. Uh, so up next, so because I became buddies with Lunkers and a lot of his viewers, like Pew Pews and all that stuff, I was like, man... We gotta have t-shirts for these guys too. So anyway, actually I think Gina brought that I, up too. Yeah, I picked that one out. Yeah, Gina got this one. Uh, Uzi does it. Instead of Easy does it, Uzi does it. That's a cool t-shirt. Up next, this is an official, usually, uh, so this is official John Deere brand. Okay, but it's a nice field agent 
John Deere t-shirt, but hey, for, I think we paid- $1.75 for that $1. one. $1.75 for this one, mm -hmm. buck seventy-five. Up next, so I got this jersey. I've got to look it up. I'm not sure who the Flames are, but it's Easton. But I just thought that was a cool t-shirt, or a cool jersey, was Flames. I don't know, somebody will want it. All right, so we were leaving, and when I forced myself to go into the women's department, this is one of the first t-shirts I found. Look, it's a Run DMC t-shirt, really cool colors, but check it out. It still had the brand new freaking tags on it. So in the U.S., where's the U.S.? Man, this was $119 in Hong Kong. Wow. But check it out, Run DMC t-shirt, and I paid $2 for that, y'all. That will be in there, we'll keep the tags on it, so that will be in the Macari store. All right guys, so usually like a lot of Ranger stuff, like the thrift stores are freaking flooded with even championship stuff. But any championship uh, t-shirts, we'll go ahead and buy those up, especially if they're $2. It's Nike brand, we're local to Texas Rangers. Why wouldn't we do that? So look, here's a bunch more of these. Oh, this is actually kind of a cool t-shirt because uh, Granger, one of Rob's friends, is a country singer. And no crap, this is one of his t-shirts. <laughs> you ever notice in our chats, uh, there'll be people, people say yee yee. Did you ever I notice know, that? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know <laughs> what that, that came from? I had no idea. It came from uh, Granger. Uh, actually, maybe I'll type him in the video. Maybe he'll feel good to know that his uh, t-shirts are showing up in the thrift store. All right, guys, up next, this one I think was a buck seventy-five too. Uh, Cutler makes me drink. Again, sports stuff. Hey, I was going to say Tony Romo used to make me drink, but it really wasn't Tony Romo, if we're being honest. It was the people around him that weren't doing their jobs. Buck seventy-five, y'all, for this? Look, this is, really cool. this I is like Nike. This I found this one, but it's Nike brand. Really nice. Uh, no stains that I saw. But look, it's SMU. Y'all know SMU Football College. We're here. I mean, SMU is like 20, 20, yeah, 20, about 20 minutes, minutes away. Mm -hmm. But check it out. For two dollars. Oh no, I paid five bucks for this, didn't I? Or was this from the uh, one seventy five store? I can't remember which one. It's I can't from. remember. But either way, if I paid five bucks for it for a SMU Nike freaking uh, just dry fit jacket, that's a no brainer. So I'll point this one out because Gina found this one. You know, it's a Louisville. Cardinals jacket. It's a Stephen Berry's. Okay, but look, I asked her, I was like, look, there's no tears in it or anything. But y'all, we got that for two, no, $1.75, y'all. Mm -hmm. So, hey, we'll save that. I know people may not be in the market for it, but look, actually, let's just come, come over here, but let's show them this stack real quick, change it up a little bit. So, we're trying to add more stuff, not just t shirts, jackets. If we find cool socks, hats, everything. So what I'm doing is I'm going through Macari and I'm going through their sold listings and I'm seeing what's selling the hottest, right? Where is a plethora of inventory that sells hot? So I'm looking at items that I know that I see in thrift stores or storage units all the times and I'm really gonna start gearing after those because like I said, I don't want to just 10, 20 listings on my store. I want 200 and then that 200 is the base minimum. And so sometimes we'll go up to three or four hundred, but anyway, so we want to change up the variety of the store, but look at these. I think these are really cool. Look, 80s colors. These are chicks. I think these are chicks, aren't what? they? What? No, are I they? think those are men's. Oh. But look, it's American Eagle. But just look at that. Those are fun shorts. They are fun. Neon buttons. So check it out. Like, if you could get those for ten bucks, I paid a dollar seventy-five for these, but let me know, would you buy these killer shorts for ten bucks? This is kind of stuff that people wear. Some people with certain styles, they'll wear these like kind of work looking shirts. This one had a Miller High Life patch on it. Uh, so a buck seventy five. I thought somebody will definitely want that. It's clean. There's no holes, tears, any of that stuff. A kind of same concept with this jacket. Gina found this old like work jacket, but y'all know like a mechanics jacket and stuff like that. That's like a cool look. People like that. But Steelers Craft. You know, it's got some patches on it. Deontay, boy. Deontay. I'm going to wear a jacket around called Deontay because people will be like, that dude smokes crack. He's white. No way his name's Deontay. So these are some more. I don't know that, you know, uh, Boy Scouts are going to be going out of bit. Well, the Boy Scouts are gone. As soon as you start letting chicks in the Boy Scouts, it ain't no longer the Boy Scouts, is it? 
And people would be like, well, you got to let women be involved. And I know this Wasn't is that the point of Girl Scouts? It's Girl Scouts, yeah, I know. Mm. Weird. You can't have separate things in these worlds these days. Uh, so anyway, Boy Scouts is no longer the Boy Scouts. But, so anyway, in that, it's going away. Uh, so look, I found this shirt. Hey, I never looked at these patches. Oh, a patch came off right there. Oh. Dan Beard Council? Oh, what? So look, but it's it's got the embroider there. It's got the American patch. So anyway, I thought somebody might want to buy that. The same with this one. I didn't know if somebody's going to buy this. But look, this is a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service shirt with the patch on it. I spent a buck seventy-five, but I was like, man, I know a lot of y'all are fishers, hunters. Somebody might want this shirt for a video for something. I don't know. Uh, this is kind of the same thing. Look, this is a NASCAR uh, embroidered. UPS. Don Johnson, I guess. Isn't that the guy from uh, Miami Vice? I have no idea. That was a joke. Never mind. Oh. Don Johnson. <laughs> uh, he was not Miami Vice. Oh, was he? But check it out. Look, it's got a little embroidered patch on here. But I thought that was a cool t-shirt for a buck seventy-five. Same thing here. Look. I found more with the uh, more patches on them, American flag, stuff like that. And check it out. One of the things we're doing for our store is quality, quality, quality. Look, we know we're getting this stuff from thrift stores, but we want to still keep it high quality. And if stuff has like huge stains and things like that, uh, we won't be buying them um, unless it's just something super cool. But anyway, we're trying to keep the quality the best. I'm trying to check the zippers. Check the buttons, make sure it's got all its buttons, trying to do all that stuff so that we can have a high caliber Macari sword. All right, so look, we're going to do, uh, let's keep going through this pile because this is kind of new. Mm -hmm. But I thought this was cool. Look, it's a North Dakota, but it look, yep. it's it's older. North DeSoto. I, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> uh, Ripping jacket. So I didn't look that brand up yet, but it's made in the USA. It's really well made. It's kind of cute. Yeah. I like you know, it. it looks like it's got the little Notre Dame thing on the back. Um, check this out. I love this one. I yeah, this, this look, one. it's an older sequence. Look. Mickey Mouse and Yeah, sequence. but it's Mickey Mouse. Uh, I didn't even check to see. Oh, yeah, it's official Disney. Okay. I found this one. Look, this was another work shirt. Work shirt. Work shirt. Uh, it's RC Cola. So, look, I don't know. Somebody might want it. Somebody collect, actually, every Coke, Dr. Pepper collector I had had shirts. At everything right people mm -hmm. collect these grab this one too just because shirts with patches if you look at stores like they're like remaking stuff like this like with the but this was a liberty fire rescue cadet shirt how cool is that oh, that's cool yeah it says cadet on it look got an american, american flag, flag on it so like i thought this shirt like i mean you threw that on with some some, you know, some decent jeans or something, you know? Yeah, I think that's really cool. Pull your cool. taco hair out, your button, you know, three <laughs> buttons now. I'm joking. A taco meat. That's what it's called. Taco, taco meat. meat. But check it out. I thought that was a cool shirt. Look, you can get another patch there. There's a Velcro for it. Uh, the last thing, well, not last thing, but one of the other things I got that was really not t-shirts related, look. I found this big old silk robe. I might keep this, yeah. I know. It looks super comfy. It, it, it feels super comfy. But look, it's Christian, Christian Dior. Dior. But I was like a buck seventy five for this. Re I mean, it feels really nice. But I was like, man, somebody will spend ten or fifteen bucks on that. I think. Guys, something else that we want to do is like kids' clothes. I know kids' clothes are hot. It's like a lot of people have kids, right? Yeah. But check it out. Like we got this for a buck seventy five. But look, a little Drew Brees kids. Uh, it's official NFL apparel, youth. But a little Drew's. Breeze freaking jersey for a buck seventy five. So we will be adding a lot more kids stuff. All right, guys. So right now, not in the chit chat, in the comments below, let me know how much do we spend on all of this. This stuff probably, um, yeah, two hundred and fifty. So about two hundred and fifty dollars, guys. Not in the chit chat, in the comments below. Let us know. Look at all of this. Look at all of There's this. There's so much on here. Y'all look, look. This is look. We laid all these out nice and neat. Look at all these t-shirts. You've seen this and you've seen these. Uh, look, we have stacks back here. The team, uh, so here's what the, the team's gonna be here in a minute and they are going to take all of this up there. They're gonna put it on a mannequin, front, back, if there's any damage, they're gonna take pictures of that. But our goal by tonight, by the end of this video, is you need to go over to our Macari store. See if we accomplished our goal. Our goal was to have 200 listings up by the end of this video.
Oh, actually, this uh, Deadpool sweatshirt. I know. He kept this one. Well, I look. It was cold. I got a teenage daughter. Summer ain't even here yet, and she's got it on forty nine degrees in the house. But anyway, so <laughs> this is a Deadpool. I paid a buck seventy five for this, but it was already cut. But y'all, this thing is super comfortable. A buck seventy five. Like I'm keeping this Deadpool freaking thing. But anyway, so what I want to do is. is I'm not, I'm not going to show you all of these in the video, but what I'm going to do is, is let's flip through here. Let's look at a few more, get your little palette wet, and then you can go on over to our Macari store and purchase some of these. So we're still new to Macari. We will combine shipping. We're just trying to figure out how you do that te technically. Uh, but we will combine shipping on that. You know, we're dead all about people buying more. So anyway, let's flip through some of these real quick. And I'm going to let you kind of see some of this stuff. But guys, I'm telling you, we're going wide variety. Ladies, kids, everything. So keep checking back. Actually, the cool thing about Macari is you can follow. You can follow us. So go to our Macari link. It's in the descriptions. I'm sure people are posting it right now. But go follow us because here's what I promised you. Every week, our Macari store will have a plethora of new inventory. Every week. We're going to roll it off. Stuff that doesn't sell in over probably a week or two weeks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bundle it up and I'm going to sell it in a huge bundle lot. That's how it's going to work. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip through here real fast. Uh, here's what I can tell you is mostly 99.9% .9 of the stuff we paid $2 or less for. So I would say we probably have about a buck fifty. Actually, per maybe well, item. all the fifty cent t-shirts we got. I know we did get a lot. So of we probably got about a dollar twenty-five, dollar to dollar twenty-five invested into each piece, y'all. And so here's the deal: people be like, "Why aren't you doing ten dollars, Justin? You gonna look up all these t-shirts?" Y'all know me. I'm a big box kind of guy. Like you have guys that buy five units, you know, a year. You got guys that buy five units a week, five units a month. I like to to push through the product. I turn like to and push, burn. turn and burn it, man. I'm trying to look, I'm trying to not work after I'm 60. So, uh, <laughs> that's my goal. And so look, I know that I can go out and buy thousands of t-shirts every week. Why would I not send them, spend them at $10 a piece instead of having them sit on a shelf trying to get full retail for them after a virus just hit when people aren't wanting to pay full retail for anything. Are you following me right now? All right, so hey, I'm going to turn and burn through some of these. So Superman, look, it's not torn up. It's all these it's different really, words. Yeah, these are really so cool. again, guys, what we're doing, when we're buying t-shirts, we're going over and kind of making sure that it's a t-shirt you would want to wear out in public. It doesn't have holes in it and things like that. Now, the older ones, we can't help that. Uh, but you just have to take the older stuff as it is. So anyway, check it out. We got uh, more concert t-shirts. Who is this? Kenny Wayne Shepherd, Right? You know who Kenny Wayne Shepherd was? I have no idea who Pretty that good, is. pretty good. Yeah. But look, check it out. Kenny Wayne Shepherd shirt for buck seventy five. Look, we got Power Rangers. Uh, anything, uh, what's her name? Oh gosh, just like <sighs> Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Anything Harley Quinn sells really well. Uh, look, what's this? Josh, Josh Abbott, Abbott Band. Uh, y'all, I found Snoop Dogg. I found Adele. Y'all, I found some killer stuff. I'm telling y'all, y'all want to go check out our store. Because most of the stuff, most of it is either going to be 10 or $15. That's how I want to do it. Fast and cheap. I want to be the $10 t-shirt guy. Okay, so this is, look, Ralph Lauren, but it's got that older, yeah, just kind of really like cool that colors, right? Because 80s, 90s clothes, guys, that's what's hot right now. But look, a buck seventy-five Tommy for a Tommy Hill figure shirt. Yo, and look, that's for a big guy right there. But look, it's got all its buttons. It's clean. Two dollars. You wouldn't want a Tommy Hilfiger shirt for ten bucks. That's crazy, y'all. So look, this is a uh, look. This was a, a national championship, two thousand seven Tostinos jersey. Ohio State, buck seventy five. You can't go wrong. So let's just flip through some of these. Okay. Uh, look, we got an older Power Ranger T-shirt. This was uh, it's a Harry Potter. It's a Harry Potter brand. It's got a patch on it. I thought it was kind of cool. Side. Yeah. Uh, oh is. yeah, there it oh, is, Gryffindor. Gryffindor. So look, that's a little dingy. This could be washed. The reason I'm not washing these is because I don't know. You might want to take it to dry cleaner. You might want to do a lot of things with it, but I don't know. So. Look, I thought about throwing all this stuff in the washer, but I was like, man, I don't know. I'm going to let people look. This is how it came out of the wild. I'm going to let you fix it up the way that you would like to do that. So look, we got a Tommy Hilfiger 
Gina kind of rolled her eyes at me when I no, brought I this over. No, I, I, I did. I said I have no idea if that sells or Y'all not. Y'all let me know. Look, that That's thing cool. looks, I mean, it's, it's nice. bright. It looks new. Yeah. But Tommy Hilfiger pullover sweater? Two bucks? Buck 75? I found this one. Look, it's a, it's a Nintendo shirt. Does it have a year on it? Look, it is. It's got some crackling on it, but the but that, crackling I like looks that. cool. I, I do think too. It's cool. Yeah, some. I mean, some shirts make that on purpose. But so, all right, the shirt under this, probably my favorite find of the day, and this will be one that I think I'm probably going to charge twenty bucks for. There's only going to be some every once in a while, but I found this one for a dollar seventy-five, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's show them. You ready? Ready. One, two, three. Ooh, yeah, I thought this was so super cool, cool y'all. Look. It's a Fox uh, 20th uh, Fox Century shirt, but look, gentlemen prefer, prefer blonde. That's not true. Gina came home with her hair blonde one day. What happened? Oh, he flipped out. It was shorter well, and on. it was Let's blonde. Let's flipped out. When you <laughs> look like now. a crackhead, you have tattoos, you're a Marine, you used to be an MMA fighter, you got to be careful what you say. <laughs> okay. Okay. He said... He does not. He does not have a good uh, track system with blondes, and would prefer for me to not be a blonde. It's a true story, because y'all know if she dyes her hair blonde, that's gonna change everything in our marriage. It's gonna wreck shop, <laughs> y'all. That ain't how it works, is it? All right, guys. So check it out. That is one of my faves. Uh, it just looks comfortable, don't it? It's got that thick neckline on it that I like. Mm -hmm. It just says quality. So anyway, that is going up on the store. Uh, this one right here I thought was really cool too. It's kind of a play on Transformers, but look. Look what it says. It says Mar Marty, uh, Time Traveler, Marty, Marty McPrime. McPrime. Oh. Sorry. Katie and Jacob. Pick all of this up, so I've got to hurry up. So let's flip through a few more. Look, Snoopy, Johnny Cash, uh, White, uh, this is written in, uh, Japanese or some crap. Chinese, but check it out. It's the white and green ranger played by Jason David Frank, who is actually lives here in Texas, too. All right, just a few more. I can't show you everything. Look, the weirdos are out there waiting. They're going to wait five minutes. Hey, you know what? They've been on like 15 minutes early every day this week. I know. I went from getting mad at them for being late, and like now you know when people are super early and you're not ready, and you're like, oh, no, <laughs> oh, no. it's frustrating. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what they've turned into, but I guess you can't complain hey, about that. Hey, I think that's a good thing. All right, come on, show them a few more. Okay. All right, look, Ohio State Athletics. That came from the athletics department. Look at that thick neckline. Look, we got Coke. Look, look Kiss. Kiss. G Unit from 50 Cent. Look at that that's hoodie. That's cool. I like that. Look at that. That, I mean, it really is. It's very Yeah, that's a nice sweatshirt. Uh, but check it out. Los, uh, Los Poyos yes. from uh, Breaking, Breaking Bad, Bad and What About Saul? Yeah, Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul. So check it out. Look. Old Crow. Oh, this was the one Toon of my Squad. Yo, look really at cool. this. I'm telling y'all, look, there's so, there's so many, many in here. Look. Mopar shirts, Mopar racing. I mean, guys, go. This was the old Space Jams tank top. That's so cool. Tell me that ain't killer. For a buck seventy-five, y'all. This was actually this might be one of my favorite. The Marilyn Monroe and this are probably my favorite pieces that I found. Yeah. All right, guys, so look, we've got to hurry up because the team's got to get this stuff. It's Saturday. We have got to get 200 listings up. Y'all let me know. Check. I really don't. Look, it is... That's great. Oh. <laughs> 7.56. 7 7.56, guys, on Saturday morning. So, look, check it. Do we have... Actually, somebody right now, look, how many listings do we have up? Did they get 200? Because the team's waiting outside. I have a Sharpie. Look, y'all know how I feel about this. If you want me to sign something, I'll sign it. Do I think I should sign it? No. That's weird for me. But if you want me to, I'm going to sign it. So we had a request. We sold this t-shirt on Macari. I have Macari. What's cool is that, yeah, we got a lot of you people, a lot of our family, or YouTube family. Uh, but it was a Reagan Bush 84. We sold it for 10 bucks. Um, I think, no, that one was 15. Okay, we sold this one for 15 plus shipping. They asked us to sign the back. Yeah. She asked us to sign the whole team. She wants the whole team did to sign Did she say the it. back or did she say the front? I think she said the back. Are you sure? Let me double check. What was her name again? Deborah. Deborah. Hey, Deborah. So, hey, uh, we'd lo I'd love to sign it for you. I think that's awesome. Uh, so, hey, and we thank you for shopping at our Macari store. That's really awesome of you. Actually, you're one of the very first ones. We just started the... We have like 67 listings up right now, don't we? Yeah. 67 i think we've sold like maybe 10 or something but uh we'll we sold it... about 20 overall are you serious yeah we sold 20 listings yeah we've we've already 
between the jerseys and everything. How it's long about have 20, we been up a, a week? A week. All right, guys. Hey, look, I don't like eBay, but I'm telling you, this Macari thing is pretty easy. So anyway, hey, I am going to sign this for Miss Deborah, uh, and we're going to get this out in the mail to you today. We are trying to be better. Uh, Smiley face. I like that. At the next unit. <laughs>